Good afternoon, everybody. It's a gorgeous afternoon here in Woodstock, Connecticut, as you can see. Um, so in the afternoon, my eyes get a little bit more sun. And then sometimes people walk up and be like, oh crap, or darn, sorry. Look what's going on there? Lots of bees, and you see all these bees. And when I first started, which was not long ago at all, I would probably be asking people, is this a swarm? Oh my God, what's going on? Yeah, that's a lot of bees. And you see them out there hanging out. You know, it is a little warmer, a little humid, so you can see them fanning a little bit. These ones that are in place that are just kind of sitting there buzzing. They're trying to help um, cool down the hive. But the other neat thing is you can see these are new bees doing their orientation flights. It's kind of hard to tell, but you'll see when they come out of the hive, some of them are doing like figure eights. And they're orienting to the hive location before they go out and forage. I've got a little girl who's just being a real pain in the neck here. Um, so we're going to go down here for a second. So they do that orientation flight. And so that's a lot of new bees coming out. You can kind of see the same thing going on here. Um, the other hive over there. And a the cloud hive. You know, that's got a lot of new brood in it. Well, those are a lot of bees coming back in. That one, for some reason, they just love that top entrance. And you can see that back entrance is like a traffic jam. This is the one that swarmed not too long ago, and then I put the uh, other box on that we did with the newspaper. And you guys might like this. I wouldn't buy hides with windows again, but it's kind of neat to get a, a view in there and see them. I wouldn't do another one. I'm not. The windows are neat, um, and they serve curi help with curiosity a little bit, but. Uh, you get more condensation on them in the inside, and in the winter you don't want condensation because that could freeze. Oops, that was a supply. And then it could kill your bees. And killing your bees is bad. But I'm happy with how everything is. These are a lot of my splits, but they have some honey super on there. And that one I've been using a deep box, which is the bigger one, as a honey, a honey box. So hopefully the fl flow is still going, so barely, but we'll keep riding it. And then my warres, I got at least one out of there. That's where that uh, comb came from the other day. Uh, I get at least two boxes out of here, I'm, I'm willing to bet. Um, and then these are new, so, but I did put a, a super on that one because they're just going crazy. And the super's that box on top, and you put that on, and they build the comb and put this honey up there, and then you can keep stacking them up, or you can take them off, and, and that's what you harvest from. Where in the Waray ones, which are those guys there, um, you know, they have the top bars, so you cut the comb out and um, you get all that comb. Where here these have frames in them, the pla these have frames in them, Duh. and um, they, build the, they build the wax and everything on the frames, and then, you know, you spin them and then you put them back in. So, just different ways of beekeeping. Still thinking about trying my, I've got a good log to do a um, natural log hive. I just gotta get at it, you know, give it a try, but that's what we're doing, so. Hope everybody's doing all right. We're all we off to fancy dinner and uh, going to see Hamilton. So should be pretty cool. All right. Hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.